Well, good morning from, I won't say sunny Melbourne, because it's rather cold. I've got my heater on here, my outdoor heater. But I thought for my first video, I would send it from my front porch here with my bistro blinds, where I spend a lot of my time contemplating the Gypsy Connor universe and plotting out stories with my good friend Eve. Today's a pretty exciting day for me. Uh, last Friday, I, in light of Chris Fox's pretty inspiring 21 day novel challenge, sorry, I have now embarked on my own 21 day challenge. And for those of you that don't know, you should check out Chris's videos. He's amazing, definitely been an inspiration to me. But he wrote a novel in 21 days. <clears throat> he has a number of books out that I've read. Right to Market, Lifelong Writing Habits, and uh, culminating in his wildly successful Destroyer book. So last Friday, I decided I would do the same. Now a bit of background about me, not too long, but enough to let you know that I am mother of three children, I have an extremely busy copywriting business, and wrote my first novel uh, in 2014, which was published. But since that was published in October 2014, I've really only written two full-length novels and two novellas. I've come up with numerous reasons why I haven't written more, which I won't bore you with. I'm sure you've got plenty of your own. But on Friday, I decided to form a 12-month plan. And what works for me was I <clears throat> know how I work, so I wrote a long list of the benefits of writing a novel a month and that is what I intend to do between now and 1st of May 2017. I was writing around a thousand words a day on a good day, sometimes 500, but I very rarely wrote on the weekend and uh, today is actually technically day three but I'm calling it day one because Saturday I wrote 1100 words and Sunday I wrote 1700, 16, 1700 so today is my first day on 2,000 words a day. I write best in the morning, but I also wanted to thank Chris for the biggest pearl of wisdom that I got was forming a habit. A habit actually can be formed, and he was very generous with sharing where he came from to get to where he has. And it was very real to me that he has taken sufficient responsibility for his own career um, he ended up going to the gym and thank you Chris I have now joined a gym and while I won't say I'm enjoying the pain of getting fit it has made a significant difference to my attitude and to my word output I also take walks um, so anyway being a writer I could kind of ramble on quite a bit but an interesting phenomena of writing this much because I was kind of stuck before now and not liking the story at all um, but when I got beta reader feedback in, uh, a week ago, what was interesting is they were far less critical and really enjoyed the story. So I kind of knocked off giving myself a hard time. Writers are well known for that, I believe. So there's no more of that. And I found that the more I write, the more I enjoy it and the less boring bits I wrote. So I wanted to share today with you because as a reader, what it means for you is you will get a novel every month. Book one of series two will be available for pre-order on the 31st of May, 1st of June, and you will have a novel a month from there, which is exciting for me, and I hope exciting for you, because I'm loving it. It's playtime of the very best kind. Um, but it also means that with 12 novels under my belt, over the next 12 months, in 12 months time, I will be able to quit my copywriting business and move from there and expand from there so thank you to Chris but most of all thank you to my readers thank you for following me thank you for reading my books and thank you for giving me a boost when I most need it um, readers are boss what else can I say so keep the emails coming I love receiving them and thank you to my beta readers I'll talk to you tomorrow okay see you later